Everyone, I'm posting a lot of videos now on YouTube on my channel, LuigiMondali.com, just because it's easy to communicate with everyone, and sometimes I don't see everyone. Just for the new guys, because we had so many new people in the last three weeks, uh, we had this surge of new guys. Um, I, I recorded some time ago a video about frustration in when you start Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and etc. And then a lot of the guys with brand new blue belts can talk to you guys about their own experience. Number one, I just want you guys to let know that here is a place that you guys are gonna get really frustrated because I keep it real, right? But that's a really good thing. So I think we managed to keep a balance between how it used to be in Brazil when I used to train there and uh, in the American, uh, you know, let's say marketing way where so many schools like became too soft. Uh, I like what Vitor Shaolin said in one of his posts that Jiu Jitsu is supposed to be hard. You're not supposed to be easy. And we, we have to keep it hard and we have to keep it legit, right? So for everyone that gets frustrated in the beginning, just let go. Don't try to understand everything. Just take like every piece as it comes because you can get overwhelmed. There's so much information out there. Number two is make sure you filter that side of you that doesn't want to tap, that side of you that uh, thinking about coming here and winning because it's going to take a long time to start winning. <laughs> on the mats right here and even outside. You need to put the work, you need to come and train as much as you can. My biggest goal, especially for the law enforcement guys there, we have a bunch today, is that you guys always have to win outside, period. Right? Here, you can relax. But outside, that's why we train you guys to always win outside, always win in a self-defense situation. Uh, quick thing here, Saturday, no, Saturday, Sunday, 10 a.m., I really, really recommend you guys to come to George's seminar He's doing the second part of the Blade seminar, but he's gonna do a recap for the, uh, about the first one, right? Yeah. So it's here, uh, Saturday. Uh, Sunday. Yeah. Sorry, Sunday, March 8th? No, 9th? No, 8th. 8th, sorry, March 8th, 10 a.m. It's a seminar where he explains the Blade work. Very important, put together with your jujitsu. you never know. David was here, Jim was here, uh, Nobs is always here. Uh, John was here, and he gonna, and George is going to keep doing this like every other week or once a month, you know, bringing different things. And I want you guys to have open mindedness. Don't think like jujitsu is the only thing in the world. Uh, like many coaches, they tell you like, oh, this is all you need because they're afraid of losing students. I'm not afraid of losing students. I'm afraid of you guys having a closed mind. So have an open mind, learn blade work, learn other stuff. Some things you can bring to jiu-jitsu if you learn sambo wrestling, catch wrestling. A lot of things can be applied to a regular jiu-jitsu, all right? So, new guys, it's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to feel like you're not learning anything. It's okay to feel like you just become a good percussionist because you're tapping a lot. So you might get like some, you know, drums and be good now. And that's fine. And that's why I'm a drummer, because I tapped a lot to other people. So, make sense? All right, sounds good, guys. So. Uh, Friday will be in Indianapolis uh, for another seminar. Silva will be here. All these guys will be here. Same instruction. is uniform everywhere that runs corpus and jiu-jitsu curriculum. Cool? Cool? All right. I know. Joe, take over. Take over.